In this video, we're going to look at how we can organize the information in an age problem to answer the question about how old the individuals are now. To help organize our information, we will put our information in a tic-tac-toe type table. In the first column, we will put the name of who we're talking about. In the second column, we'll talk about their age now. And in the third column, which I'll fill in the title in a moment, will be the age in either the future or the past, depending on the problem. In this problem, we're looking at Adam, who is 20 years younger than Brian. In two years, Brian will be twice as old as Adam, and we want to know how old are they now. First, let's fill in the names, Adam and Brian. We'll use A and B. Right now, we are told that Adam is 20 years younger than Brian. This tells us how Adam is related to Brian. However, we aren't given any information about Brian. So let's make Brian X. If we want to show that Adam is 20 years younger, we need to subtract off years off of Adam's age, 20 years. Subtracting 20 years from Brian, who is x right now. So we can represent Adam with x minus 20 right now. The next piece of information we're given is just the first part of the next sentence that says in two years. This is telling us how much change is going to happen. In two years, stop there. Two years means we're moving forward or adding time. We are adding two years to the amount of time considered in their age. What we will do then is we will add two to each of the now cells to fill in the plus two cells. Adam is x minus 20 plus two. When we combine like terms, minus 20 plus two is minus 18. When we add two to Brian, they are not like terms, we simply have x plus 2. Now, we can continue reading in the table. What happens in two years is Brian will be twice as old as Adam. Let's make an equation to represent this. Brian, we'll use b for him, will be, that's a conjugation of the verb to be, just like is, equals twice, which is two times, Adam. Notice I made this equation about the future without worrying about the time span or what's happening right now. I simply said Brian will be twice Adam to make my equation. What I will do next is marry the table and the equation together using the future column. Brian is going to be replaced with the cell from the future referring to Brian, the x plus 2, always in parentheses when we make a substitution, equals twice Adam. Adam in the future is x minus 18. We now have an equation we can solve for x. Distribute the 2 to get x plus 2 equals 2x minus 36. Subtract x from both sides, so the variable's only on one side. 2 equals x minus 36. And finally, add 36 to both sides. This tells us that x is equal to 38. x is what is representing Brian's age. Brian is 38 years old. Adam, right now, is x minus 20. 38 minus 20 is simply 18. We now see that Adam is 20 years younger than Brian, and in two years, Brian will be twice as old as Adam.